ka nagra-run. And then yung next next na sentence na sasabihin niya is wala namang pera diyan. So, I think I proved them wrong. Hello there, I'm Sam Sudwani and this is Speaking of Money, a go time podcast where we have beautiful conversations with the brilliant minds of today. And today, we are joined by a celebrated athlete and entrepreneur known for revolutionizing the running community in the country through the Run Rio races. Let's welcome Coach Rio De La Cruz. So as with any business, of course, um, even especially organized runs, there are financial strategies that need to come about. So what financial strategies do you think helped you as an athlete and an entrepreneur? Mm-mm. Actually, I'm not good in <laughs> in finances, but... Uh, I'm sure it played a part, yes, especially in yes, the early yes. days. Yes, yes. So definitely, uh, it helped us. Uh, well, basic lang naman uh, from me when I started is be- how much I'm spending mm-hmm. for the operation. And then second is how much the registration and sponsor. So I just... Add and minus. Okay, basic math. Basic, ma- basic <laughs> math. And then later on, siyempre medyo nagiging complicated na siya. Yes. So you have to manage your finances. So now we are focusing on uh, proper budgeting, making sure that our cash flow is healthy so that we can, you know, sustain our business. And then third is uh, we want to build uh, trust so that our investor and our runners, our employees can also trust right. us. I'm sure you for have to long... be very transparent to yes. these sponsors and brands. Yes, yes. This, these are more on for sustainability. No, okay. na we are actually implying, and then uh, most probably uh, what what we want is to invest in innovation. So we want to be always on the top of the you know competition. We were the first one who introduced the tiny chips in the Philippines. And we created the start finish arc with LED. So we are wow. actually investing, and now we are investing in more on equipment. Okay. So we have a lot of uh, sets of our start finish arc. Uh, how we manage to create how fast our start finish arc to be, you know, uh, assembled because mm-hmm. of the limited time that we have in the venue. So I'm I'm the one who's creating that one, and then we are investing uh, a lot of money to that. And second is we are creating and investing in a new uh, brand of events. Like, for example, our trilogy been there, but uh, we want to create a brand that we can actually bring to other countries. So Ran Rio is also available in Thailand. Wow. So in you're Singapore. growing around yes, the world. Yes, yes. And also in, not, not Ran Rio, but we have investment in uh, Australia. So I'm part of the board director of Sydney Marathon. I actually invested during the pandemic. So now the Sydney Marathon is a candidate for World Marathon Major. Wow, because, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Because, well, not not on the financial benefit of it. When I invested there, is it's more on passion. As a race organizer, as a runner, or as an athlete, your ultimate goal is to compete in the Olympics. Right. Right? To be a champion. You, uh, me as a race organizer, you want to be part of bigger things. Mm-hmm. Like you want to be part of the World Marathon Major. Right. I've been thinking how we can create similar to that in the Philippines. But unfortunately, it's actually a long shot. So what we did is to create the this event in Australia right. where there's a big chance because of the support of the local government. Mm-hmm. Second is because of the place and the weather. So being part of, if if it become a you know, world marathon major, so, you know, one of my dream na check na siya. Na parang, right. But one of the bucket list. Yeah, kasi it's very rare na, na you can uh, say na I'm part of the world marathon major. Extremely, extremely yeah. rare. But ha- it's not um, more on for me. It's more on for passion. the passion and also for our running community. Of na course. They can say na, oi, uh, Filipino or Kababayan is actually mm-hmm. part of that. So it's actually for the country as well. So how do you balance your passion for your business with making sound financial decisions? You're very passionate, but you also seem to make the right business decisions. How do you balance that? Mm-hmm. I think I'm a risk taker. You are a risk <laughs> yes, taker. Yes, yes. I, I, I did a lot of risk, but I'm happy with the result. So before I as mentioned to you, 70% is passion. 
30, 30% mm-hmm. are business. So we have some partners and investors that I have to make them happy as well and to okay. make the business more soundly successful. So the 70% is actually <laughs> decreasing. It's decreasing. To 51%. <laughs> right. So it's more on business. Because before, we are focusing on mainly on business. Mm-hmm. But the quality of the event is actually suffering because you're thinking like uh, business, 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 right. uh, more on income mm-hmm. or profit. And I actually changed that uh, right away when I see that there's an effect on us. So because, again, I'm very passionate on running. And you're a runner yourself, and yes. And I want to give back no, yung experience mm-hmm. to them. How, can you share any lessons you've learned about money management from both your running mm-hmm. career and your business now? Mm-mm. So for personal... Uh, as I mentioned to you, I came from nothing, no. So when ha- when we have this money, uh, sometimes you don't know what to do, no. Uh, how do you invest on it? But uh, we learn that you know we have to live within our means because sometimes if you over exp- is, uh, to, uh, you overspend spend your money, uh, it will affect your uh, life and mm-hmm. your uh, business. We have to invest in our uh, emergency fund. Uh, because there's some instances in our life na na tulad nung ano nung pandemic, di ba? Mm-hmm. So you have to have something na mapupul mo Just when there's case. an emergency, di ba? Mm-hmm. Parang uh, yan yung pinaka basic naman eh. Mm-hmm. And then for the business, making sure na you don't overspend also with right. regards to the uh, items that you are providing. Because when we started the the running, we want to please everyone. Mm-hmm. And we are actually giving a lot of things like loot bags, what 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 what, what inside it. Right. And then you over you over committed. Actually this is uh, happening right now also. So it's not sustainable because there's a burnout also with it when when it comes to sponsorship. Mm-hmm. So before running, uh, when it's very popular, a lot of brand sponsors, then uh, when there's new events or sports coming in they turning they, their attention right, to others. Right. So right now, your cash flow is actually different because before you are giving a lot of things to the runners and now... It's less. It's less, diba? So people or runners are getting parang disappointed because they're comparing it to what happened before. Right. So you have to study that also balance. Of course, you cannot please everyone, but you have to stick to it. And again, one of our objectives is how we can sustain our events. When we create a brand, based from our learnings, what we want is to to create this event and to make this uh, self-sustainable. Mm-hmm. What that what we mean by that is whenever there's no sponsors, cash sponsorship, we can actually create this event right. and sustain it. You can it. spend, yes. take out money yes. and give them the same experience. Yes, and... You know, at the end of the day, it's still a business. We have to pay and feed our people. Mm-hmm. Diba? Parang, as long as we were not uh, negative, uh, we're, we're happy with that one. Diba? Speaking of negative, have you experienced any financial setback while running your business? Yes, definitely. Oh, Because I'm, uh, I'm not good in financial. This is not my background. Mm-hmm. My background is how I know how to create moment, how to create good experience, how, to, how, how I know how to create event. Mm -hmm. But managing that one is very challenging. So that's why I think it's very important to have an advisor. Okay. And also if you have time to go to school again to relearn Mm -hmm. on uh, handling your finances. So because me, I don't have time. So we hire our financial team to guide us also. So so me, I'm listening to them. But when it it comes to uh, running, Siyempre, non-negotiable yung what I want. But mm-hmm. siyempre, they doing their math na you cannot do this. And also, we have some events na negative because we really want to create... Give the best experience. Yes, yes. yes. That's always our ano eh, mm-hmm. our goal. Of course. Um, so you mentioned it's important to have a financial advisor. Can you um, give another financial tip for athletes and individuals looking to start their own business, whether it's an organi- organizing runs mm-hmm. or another business? Mm-hmm. Siguro yung key is more on uh, you have to find what you love mm-hmm. when you're doing business. Kasi I believe na if you put your passion first, big chance na yung uh, business mo will be a successful. Kasi you're putting a lot of effort, making sure that uh, event or business grows and uh, to be a successful no right. and uh, of course having a uh, 
capital is very important. It no? helps. <laughs> yes, it helps naman, siyempre. So, but you have to learn how to manage it, di ba? Uh, I, again, I'm not expert in this uh, items. But you've learned along the way. Yes, I learned along the way. And maybe because uh, it also helped uh, me during my time when I'm coaching individual people, like celebrities and businessmen. And they give me also some tips. Mm-hmm. Na I'm, I'm, when, when we are running, I'm also asking them, how do you become right. successful? Right. Right? So, so something like that. So clearly your passion is really, your passion in life really lies in running. Mm -hmm. But what do you love to do when you're not working on the business or running? Okay, (laughs) it's hard, (laughs) no? Because wherever I go, it's always running. Yeah, even when you're running, you're thinking about running. Yes, yes, but uh, I love traveling. I want to explore uh, some other place. Mm -hmm. Actually, my frustration uh, is I, I want two things uh, actually three na parang yung ultimate dream ko i want actually to be a lawyer and a uh, pilot <laughs> it's never too late yeah. <laughs> and then i love ano history okay so yan parang sa history i learn from it and yes. then gusto kong maka travel mm-hmm. and then of course spending a lot of time with my family and right. my kids so i have three kids and uh, basically i want them to be uh, healthy also and coaching mm-hmm. you know, it's, it's still running it's still but running, uh, yes. that's what well, i well they uh, say a great way to tour a new country is to run yes actually right mm-hmm. now uh, not only me but other people they go or visit other places or other country, not for tourists, to run. To run. That's the first objective. The second one is to shop or to <laughs> tour. So before, baliktad, diba? they, they go to other country to, you know, mm-hmm. explore the, the place and shopping. But now... It's the run. It's the run. Mm-hmm. And number one, parang pagpupunta sila na, dun sa plan nila, ano yung place dito na pwede kong... Uh, maging part ng training ko habang nagta-travel. Well, hopefully Philippines becomes one of those destinations where people travel to run. Mm, yes, actually, thank you for mes- mentioning that one. I'm sorry, I will plug this one. Please no? do. So we are creating a new brand. Uh, it's actually a series of events in uh, in Philippines. We call it Philippine Half Series. Philippine Half Series. Yes, yeah, so we partner with Department of Tourism because I want to help them uh, to to have a local tourism mm-hmm. through running. Amazing. So we identified uh, multiple cities and provinces in the Philippines and to create and organize this race. So people or runners have to finish all these races and they will get a medal, like World wow. Marathon Major. But they have they don't have to complete in one year. They can actually complete it in multiple years, like two years, three years, four years, because it's actually 10 cities. So wow, okay. half marathon. So right. it's actually ano, very challenging, mm-hmm. if, especially finance, financial, because you have to spend for it. To travel ba? as to well. Travel, but that's yes. a great initiative. Congratulations yes. on Thank that. Thank you. But also uh, with regards to finances, we are actually not only benefiting from it. Actually, we are creating uh, economic impact mm-hmm. wherever we do events. Like for example, in our event in Mall of Asia, whenever we have events, actually the hotels are actually full. So, because runners stayed, so right, they're spending right. one night, two nights, and then eating in the restaurants, or so some people... So it can boost the country's economy. Yes, not, not that big, but I think we are contributing Somehow, as right. well. And also, we are creating jobs. Mm-hmm. What, my, what I mean by that is, whenever we have events, big events, the elite runners before, na hindi na sila elite runners, they are now coach. Mm-hmm. So they training individual people, right. individual runners mm-hmm. to prepare for our race. So they paying the coach. So before a uh, few lang kami na nagwa one on one, but now actually a lot of a lot of people na runner na naging coach na siya. So that's what we want to achieve me personally as an individual as a coach is also to recreate what I did before. To, to give this opportunity people. for other people. Mm-hmm. Na, That's very nice. You know, na running. Kasi before, parang tinatanong nila, bakit ka nagra-run? Yung hindi pa siya sikat, bakit ka nagra-run? And then yung next next na sentence na sasabihin niya is, wala namang pera dyan. So I think I proved them wrong. Yeah. because now you can say there is. Yes, because from nothing to something. Exactly. Diba? And... Uh, also, we want to inspire and motivate other people. Now, there's something in running, mm-hmm. no? Aside from health benefits, it's actually give you a business. And we are not treating other race organizer as competitor. Uh, we nice. are actually mm-hmm. treating them as a enabler also to mm-hmm. grow the community. Because when they organize races, and then the 
newbie or runners uh, market is theirs. And then later on, they actually going to us as well. Mm -hmm. So technically, they are growing the community and we are benefiting right. also. So and ultimately, you just want to see the community grow. Yes, yes, yes. Because everyone will be uh, no, the benefactor. Mm -hmm. Do you have a personal goal as a runner? <laughs> you mentioned the Olympics, <laughs> but apart from uh -oh. the Olympics, do you have a personal goal mm. at the moment? Yes, yes, definitely. So the Olympics cannot be you know, attainable right now. But before, what my plan when I stop that dream is to you know, find someone uh, we can represent to to do that no uh, through our support but my personal <laughs> uh, goal right now is actually uh, uh, i announce ko sa kanya baka ma pressure ako so and uh, if you might manifest it <laughs> uh, i think it's doable but it's very challenging no uh, what i want is i want to finish the seven world marathon major next year wow. in, one year. in one year oh yeah, my so gosh so it's very challenging because there's a uh, back to back to back uh, it's like one week apart. Wow. But I think it will be challenging no, uh, for next year. So probably I will uh, make one more year. But next year, what my plan for the Philippine Half Series, I want to be the first to complete all the 10 half marathons wow. in the country. Then in preparation for that ultimate right. goal. Well, if anyone can do it, you can. Yeah. <laughs> I think there are nakagawa for six marathon majors, but for seven, wala wala pa. Pa. But you know, it's also advantage because the if the world the Sydney Marathon become world marathon major, that's seven, so I can get a slot. Yes. <laughs> where where are you most excited to do a run? It's nice to run in other country, but I would say uh, running in the Philippines actually is uh, very different. Mm -hmm. No, I would say if you run in the Philippines, it's more festive. Really? Yes, because if you run in other country, like for example, uh, one race that I joined, New York Marathon or uh, Boston Marathon, when you cross the finish line, it's nothing there. Okay. You get your medal, mm -hmm. okay, take pictures and go home. Mm -hmm. In Philippines, when you cross the finish line, we have this activity area, a lot of sponsors giving freebies, mm -hmm. we have concert. And then we have these people hanging around, mm -hmm. taking pictures, posting in the social media. So I think it's more fun in the Philippines. Mm, it's true Filipino spirit. Yes, yes. And also when you join these races abroad, there's no singlet mm. or the jersey. In Philippines, it's a Meron. mask, diba? So you have your jersey uh -huh. with my you. Jacket pa nga. My <laughs> jacket or T-shirt. or And of course, medal naman yes. sa iba din meron. So... Yes. So your, with your question, I would say I will choose Philippines by then. Uh, well, as a Filipino and as, a, as we want to promote our country and our local events here, I would say na yung race natin here is actually comparable to other race, or race, races abroad. Wow. So that's why I'm inviting our runners no, na uh, we have a lot of runners joining other races. But I'm hoping na for next year... You know, we we are helping the Department of Tourism with their uh, campaign na Love the Philippines. So mm -hmm. I will take that actually uh, tagline to to our runners na Love the Philippines. Before you go abroad and join races there, Run here. you can actually experience our races, not only in Metro Manila, but other races. Not 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 necessarily Run Rio, but other race organizer in other cities and provinces is actually good quality. So I'm encouraging our runners to to try because we are contributing in the uh, community mm -hmm. and the co in the uh, economy of our country. Mm -hmm. What advice would you give to young Filipinos who want to turn their passion like you did into a business? Mm -hmm. The the very important is to to put your goals. You no, know? what is your goal? Then second is to achieve this goal. What is your objective? Okay. Diba? Parang me as a runner. Yung objective ko, for example, I want to run 15 minutes in 5K. Mm -hmm. Hindi mo lang pwedeng sabihin na I will run every day. Mm -hmm. You have to identify. You have to be very specific. Very specific. Like, for example, you give timeline. Uh, within three months, I have to 
complete this distance or mm. run this distance this time, parang ganun. So, so very in business, goal oriented. Yes. So in business, like in running, so when you organize your first race, your target will only be one one thousand muna, mm-hmm. and then you grow. You grow from there. Uh, from there. So we're gonna play a little game. It's okay. called this or that. <laughs> okay. So I'll give you two options, and you say the first thing that comes to your mind. Okay. So our viewers can get to know you a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Let's start. Fast-paced lifestyle or steady routine? Probably steady routine. Really? I'm surprised. Yeah. I would have thought you would say fast-paced lifestyle. Mm, before, well, before uh, you, I'm not thinking, eh, so you want uh, everything fast. Right. But I learned from it that in training, you don't have to be running really fast all the time. Okay. You have to slow down. Mm-hmm. So similar to life, diba? Parang you don't have to go hard all the time. You have to rest. Right. In running also, if you go hard all the time, uh, potentially injury. Right. injury. So you have to give your time to recover mm-hmm. by doing a slow down. Okay. More money or more shoes? More money. <laughs> you know why? Because if you have more money, you, you can, can buy, buy shoes. shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Very smart. <laughs> rest day or work through the pain? Uh, rest day. Because I normally listen to my body. Mm-hmm. So uh, this is actually for our runners. No, It's not always like you train every day. So you have to listen to your body because sometimes your body telling you that you have to stop for mm-hmm. a while. Because it will give you more uh, problems. Right. That's what a lot of, lot of people forget to do is to listen to their bodies. Yes, no? yes. And they just push themselves until an injury yes, happens. Yes, yes, And And, uh, no, and putting into your mind na there's another day or there's tomorrow to, you know, uh, train again or run again. Mm, that's good advice. Build a personal brand or company brand? Personal brand, based from my experience, because uh, my hair become the <laughs> our company brand. Yes. Uh, no brand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, track your progress or enjoy the run. Track your progress because I'm uh, competitive, so I always track uh, my training. Actually, before I always write my uh, no, my training program and uh, time. So now, uh, with the help of the technology, diba? you have a smartphone, you can actually connect it to your cell phone, and then you can actually see your diary. So yeah, track, track. And before we go, what is your one-liner money motto that you believe everyone should live by? So money can make you a successful individual or it can destroy you. Okay. Diba? Sometimes kasi if, uh, if you're not used to it, Particularly me, I mm-hmm. came from nothing. Diba? If you have this money, you are became you you thinking you're powerful. But if you have to be very disciplined and making sure how you spend that properly on your growth mm-hmm. and on your business. Thank you so much, Coach. Um, I'm so excited to see where you take Run Rio. And that was very, very inspirational. And thank you for joining us here at Speaking of Money. Tune in again next time for more beautiful conversations and inspiring insights with the successful people of today. To never miss an episode, click subscribe and hit that notification bell. Until next time.